Nearly every day, there is more evidence documenting the health hazards associated with the electronics industry. Industry leaders have become increasingly aware of the need to protect the health and safety of their workers from these known health hazards. A particular concern for electronics workers is the inhalation of flux fumes during the soldering process. Even with today's increase in manufacturing automation, electronics assembly and repair operations still require a significant amount of hand soldering and an associated flux fume exposure. Most solders today contain flux to improve solder flow, remove oxides, and enhance overall soldering performance. Conventional flux is a translucent amber-colored rosin obtained from pine trees through a distillation process which dates back to ancient times. When flux is heated, a variety of harmful gases are generated, such as formaldehyde, toluene, isopropyl and butyl alcohols, and hydrochloric acid. In addition to the gaseous components of heated flux, significant concentrations of airborne particulates are created, ranging in size from 0.01 micron to 1 micron. Flux fumes parallel the particle inhalation range of tobacco smoke, a well-known lung pollutant and carcinogen. International organizations, which regulate exposure standards for workers' safety and health, classify particles into three categories of risk. The inhalable fraction includes particles which are 10 microns or larger in diameter. These particles are normally captured in the nose and mouth. Pollens are a common inhalable sized particulate. The thoracic fraction includes particles less than 10 microns but greater than 3.5 microns in diameter. Particles in this range are capable of being deposited within the lung airways. Coal dust and cement dust are examples of thoracic-sized particulates. The respirable fraction includes particles less than 3.5 microns in diameter. These particles are capable of being deposited in the gas exchange region of the lungs. Flux fumes are included in this category. A number of health hazards have been associated with exposure to flux fumes. Flux fumes are known to cause headaches and dizziness, chronic eye irritation, contact dermatitis, chronic bronchitis, and occupational asthma. Allergic sensitization of workers is also prevalent in activities associated with solder fume inhalation. Flux fume sensitization and associated symptoms can develop over a period of time, averaging four years of exposure before chronic symptoms occur. With flux fume sensitization, workers progressively experience wheezing and breathlessness earlier in their work shift. Eye and nose irritation are quite common since hydrochloric acid, a potent mucosal irritant, is produced when flux is heated. These symptoms can continue for many hours after the employee's workday is finished. Material safety data sheets known as MSDSs, published by flux manufacturers, state that inhalation of flux fumes will irritate the nose, throat, and respiratory organs. These data sheets emphasize that prolonged or repeated exposure to flux fumes may result in sensitization leading to occupational asthma. Studies performed on workers in the electronics industry indicate that at least 20% of solderers even those working in the vicinity of soldering operations may exhibit the clinical symptoms of occupational asthma characterized by coughing, shortness of breath, wheezing, and chest pain. Published reports in occupational health journals indicate that the adverse health effects from flux fumes result in increased absenteeism. Studies show that flux fumes are the chief cause of absenteeism and illness among solderers. Workers can also experience more frequent health care usage. Employee turnover. Exposure to flux fumes is the major cause of turnover for employees performing soldering operations, 
resulting in additional recruitment and retraining costs by the industry for replacement workers. Health insurance costs. Rising health insurance premiums represent a significant expense for employers as well as for employees. Workers' compensation claims. In the United States alone, 90% of all occupational-related respiratory disease claims are litigated, resulting in increased compensation costs to business. Legal liability. Exposure to flux fumes can exceed permissible limits set by international standards for occupational safety and health. This can result in legal action, including employer fines and even criminal prosecution. With the physical health of the worker and the financial health of industry at risk, a new business strategy must be developed. To remain successful and profitable into the 21st century, industry must make a shift toward controlling costs through profit management. A significant way to contain the costs associated with occupational hazards is to reduce the employee's exposure to hazardous substances. One option involves administrative controls, which include job rotation, employee transfers, and reducing time on the job. This option may reduce an employee's exposure, but it may also significantly impair productivity. Industry leaders have found more feasible and cost-effective options to reduce employee exposure. One solution could be to change the source of the hazard by substituting fluxes. However, Alternative fluxes, such as no-clean and water-soluble types, can sometimes adversely affect process control and production equipment and may be too costly to implement. Many alternative fluxes create fumes that are potentially more harmful than conventional flux fumes. Another alternative is the use of personal protective equipment, such as respirators, to keep worker exposures within permissible limits. The main drawback, though, is that worker acceptance to wearing bulky respirators can be extremely low. The preferred solution is path interception. This method involves intercepting the path between the source of the airborne pollutant and the worker. International occupational safety and health organizations and solder flux manufacturers recommend local exhaust ventilation systems for soldering operations. Properly maintained local ventilation systems effectively intercept the hazardous fumes from the worker's breathing zone with maximum effectiveness. Local exhaust ventilation has several distinct advantages. Flux fumes are pulled away from the worker's breathing zone. Secondary flux fumes affecting those nearby the source are also eliminated. Contamination from gases and particulates on sensitive electronic components is avoided. And cleaned air can be returned back into the working environment with significant heating and air conditioning cost savings. Localized exhaust ventilation is known as fume extraction. Effective fume extraction systems contain three primary components. The collection device captures the flux fumes. The vacuum pump pulls the air through the collection device into the central filtration unit. The central filtration unit is the heart of the fume extraction system, which removes the contaminants contained in flux fumes and allows cleaned air to be returned back into the workplace. Removal of gaseous and particulate components in flux fume requires an effective multi-stage central filtration system, which includes a pre-filter for removing coarse particles, a high-efficiency particulate air filter, or HEPA filter, for removing microscopic particulates, and a composite blend gas filter for capturing the gases contained in flux fumes, a composite blend of an adsorptive material, and a chemisorptive material is preferred for effective performance. The surface area of the HEPA filter is also an important consideration. HEPA filters with large surface area require less frequent changes and offer lower resistance to air movement through the system. All quality HEPA filters will have a certificate of efficiency for assured performance. Filter efficiencies of 99.97% are available. Individual filter cartridges can be easily replaced. To provide maximum performance, 
a heavy-duty brushless vacuum pump is required. Vacuum pumps rated for 20,000 or more hours of continuous use are preferred to ensure years of reliable, maintenance-free service. A broad range of collection devices are available to meet specific applications for flux fume removal. Arm systems, which transfer large volumes of air away from the worker's breathing zone, offer maximum versatility using a wide variety of nozzles, hoods, canopies, and suction tubes to suit the individual's needs. Central filtration units come in various sizes and can accommodate multiple workstations. Standard and static safe conductive arms are available in bench-mounted or wall-mounted versions. Attachment arms for microscopes provide much needed protection since the worker is particularly close to the soldering activity. Fume extraction plenums can be easily positioned on the benchtop. For manual operations which produce large amounts of fumes such as solder pots, portable fume cabinets are ideal for effectively capturing fumes without interfering with the production process. For some manual soldering applications, a small suction tube can be installed on the soldering iron to immediately remove flux fumes right at the iron's tip without adversely affecting tip temperature. Central filtration units come in various sizes and can accommodate multiple hand pieces. Suction tubes are attached with a specially designed mounting bracket, screw-on adapters, or simply clipped to the soldering iron heater element. Installation of fume extraction systems is quick and simple using ducting, which does not require any glue, tape, or other fasteners. The system can be easily dismantled and reassembled as the production floor layout changes. Fume extraction offers a cleaner, healthier work environment, quick and easy installation, a wide variety of system designs, and a more profitable business. This presentation has been brought to you as a public service by Pace Incorporated.